If you want to be successful in tournaments, you have to know what decks to expect and what's doing well. And today, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Hey, Nick from Nine Card TCG, and today we're going to be talking about the top decks in this very early Lost Origin format meta. And I want to make a couple of disclaimers first. This is just using online data really there haven't been a lot of in-person tournaments that use lost origin and there's been no official lost origin tournaments uh as of this moment at least you know as of recording so keep all that in mind online formats are not exactly the same as in-person events but they're still pretty good for getting some data especially in the early stages as we're heading into say peoria regionals where lost origin will be legal the other thing i want to say is that just because a deck does not appear on this list or I don't talk about it a lot does not mean that deck is bad or that you shouldn't play it. It just means that either that hasn't been explored enough yet, maybe the list hasn't been optimized, maybe you're just playing it wrong. There's a bunch of different things. And that leads me to the final caveat before we get into the actual meat of the video is that if you are really comfortable and confident with a deck, even if it's not considered best deck in format or tier one or whatever you still have a better chance of doing well with that deck than you would just saying i'm gonna play palkia for the sake of playing palkia even though i've never played it a day in my life play the thing that you one want to play with and two play what you're comfortable with the thing that you know you're likely to do better now with all that said before we get you know into the video like subscribe comment all that kind of stuff tell youtube this is a good channel other people should watch it i live stream on twitch and we can come play test and you can battle against me or you know i can try a deck that you want and uh yeah let's go ahead and take a look at some of the top decks for lost origin so this first set of data comes to us from justin basil and we only see the top six here but really the top like three or five of the ones that are most important origin form palkia this is palkia and Talion is not really much of a surprise to be at the top it is an extremely powerful deck and i mean it's been that way for uh, a little while now. Curum VMAX with Palkia is also a really powerful deck. It does not have a particularly uh, low damage cap. You can hit 300, 400 damage with this thing pretty easily. Giratina V-Star is turning out to be as expected. It is performing kind of how we thought it would in the sense that you can make some really crazy shred plays. You can make some really amazing like lost impact plays into star requiem or star requiem into lost impact and just take an enormous knockouts almost out of nowhere because the lost zone box can just pop off so easily that you just get 10 7 to 10 cards in your lost zone by turn two three and then now you now you just you're just rolling kramer lost box is maybe I, I listen i made a video talking about how it's probably the best single prize deck i did not expect it to be one of the best decks but it is doing super super well i think it won last week's uh late night tournament which is like almost 500 people it's like 400 something people in it uh it's doing really really well it's a really solid deck um so definitely keep an eye out for that one. Mew is still really strong, of course. It does take a little bit of a hit because, one, people aren't playing it as much. They want to play Kyurem. They want to play Giratina, Lost Zone Box, whatever. Uh, and then also the existence of Drapion is a thing. Hisumi and Zoroark V-Star, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's about where I expected it to be at the bottom of Tier 2. You know, like it's, a, it's definitely a Tier 1.5, Tier 2 deck. Um, it's, you know, towards closer to the bottom half of the top 10 than it is the top and that's pretty much what i expected but moving on to matchup data we have this information coming to us from trainer hill and you can see i've kind of picked some of the top 10 decks uh, lost on box palkia curum giratina Mew. those are all really uh popular decks and they're doing well so you kind of have to talk about them but then some other stuff like reggie's are in there um you know, we have the Italian box, Zorok, all that kind of stuff. You know, for example, if we want to use Gudra in a tournament and we're expecting a lot of Giratinas, you probably don't want to play that just because it has a really poor matchup to Gudra and you're going to give yourself an unnecessarily difficult time. You know, you can kind of start to see uh, what if what you're expecting 
what should shape what you want to play and this is where meta column comes in so take a look at this uh, i don't want to spend too much time looking at it um you know you can very easily go to the site yourself or just pause the video and take a look and kind of get an idea of what what deck you want to play or something you're interested in and where it kind of does i do just want to highlight the best and worst matchups for each deck based on what we're seeing already so arceus flying pikachu its worst matchup is going to be hisuian zorok they can very easily one shot your pikachus and your uh, your arceus so pretty simple for them to take a bunch of prizes but you do really really well against Inteleon box because they're just not doing enough damage to either hit you or they're using something like radiant charizard and you, you know your flying pikachu vmax can kind of stop them from hitting you with cramorant can stop them from hitting you uh with like uh, radiant charizard things like that so there are, it is not impossible for like an Inteleon box to lose but it's you have to really know how to play uh, that matchup. And you also do really well against Regis. Again, they just can't kind of cope with the Flying Pikachu sometimes. Again, if there's, there's ways around that they can play around it, but you are really favored. If you're going Giratina, your worst matchup, at the moment, you don't really have any terrible matchups. Uh, you are slightly unfavored into Regis. So that's kind of the worst. They're a single prize deck, and you have to just... You have to lose so many energies at the loss zone, so many energies. You do have Shred, uh, which is really nice, and they're going to two-shot. So it's kind of who gets set up first like that. They have to two-shot you. You one-shot them in return. Um, but yeah, it's just it can be a little challenging uh, depending on how you get set up or how the Reggies get set up. If they're, if they're going quick, they can start hitting into those uh, Giratinas, knocking out your coma fees, things like that, taking some easy prizes can be a little challenging and your best matchup is the gudra as we mentioned just because star requiem is a crazy crazy good attack if you're going to go gudra your worst matchup is that giratina you also don't have a uh great matchup against kiran palkio but your best matchup reggie's so we'll just kind of skip that to just they never do enough damage to really hurt your gudra and because you're a dragon type you don't have any weakness so it doesn't matter which reggie they use uh, they're, they're going to be hitting you for not exactly a ton. Registeel, you also have a 3 retreat cost, so Registeel gets a pretty heavy damage reduction as well. Hisubian Zoroark, your worst matchup is Inteleon Box. They're single prizes. You damage yourself. It's really, really easy for that Charizard to one-shot your Zoroark. When they do, you take a prize, sure. Uh, you can counter KO pretty easily because the 160 health for Zoroark is really, really easy number to hit. But just because you damage yourself, uh, they're going to be up trading constantly. And your best matchup is, uh, your best matchup is, I guess, the Arceus Flying Pikachu. Yeah, you just, we, we kind of talked, some of these are going to get a little repetitive. Um, you just, you're able to knock out those Pikachus and those Arceus very, very quickly. You could do 330 damage with Gudra if you have a, uh, with the uh, Zorak if you have a choice belt. That's more than enough to KO a Pikachu, so... You don't have to worry about that. Plus, they're constantly two-shotting you. They will never one-shot you, which is really, really nice. Inteleon box, your worst matchup is, interestingly, the Lost Zone box because there are a bunch of one prizes and they're going to be able to pick apart those Sobbles and, uh, you know, kind of crumble your engine a little bit. They're also going to be able to... You're, you're not up-trading at all, so you're going to have to do all this work to attack with... Uh, you know, Inteleon, or you're, you're going to have to do all this work to attack with Radiant Charizard, and it really doesn't help that much. So, kind of interesting that it's the worst matchup, but it does make sense. Your best matchup with uh, the Inteleon box is Zorark. Again, you're, you're taking really easy uptrades because they're constantly damaging themselves. So, not too bad there. Kiram Palkia, your best matchup is the Gudra. And your worst matchup, oh God, do you even have a really bad matchup is Palkia and Talion just because Palkia is stupidly good and you're going to be giving up guaranteed six prizes in the form of, uh, you know, Palkia, Kyurem, and then maybe an, an, like an Oranguru. So there's six prizes, really easy for them to just kind of hit into your Pokemon pretty easily like that. You also sometimes play things like Crobats and Luminions, which are really easy two prize targets. So... Uh, it definitely makes sense. Palkia is extremely strong. Lost Zone Box, your best match. I guess we'll start with your worst because that's what we did for the other, all the other ones. Is Kiram Palkia. 
40% uh, is still not bad as far as like a worst matchup goes. Uh, you're not like in like the 20% like Zoroark has. Um, but you still tr want to try to avoid Kiram Palkia. Kiram just has such high HP. You're going to be three-shotting them with a, uh, a Cramorant unless you have a belt. Even then you're still three-shotting because it only does uh, 280. So you're only doing 280 with the Cramorant, which is perfect for Palkia's. But not enough for that Curum, and they don't have to discard any energies in order to take a KO on, say, a uh, Cramorant or something like that. So, really not that bad. Even if you do have Articuno, you're still only doing 300. Uh, you would have to have two in play plus a choice belt. It's just it gets kind of complicated to get all that damage to knock out one Pokemon in in two hits, mind you. Uh, and your best matchup is Inteleon Box. We already talked about that. Mew. Something that I don't think people are talking about a ton is Mew. Uh, your worst matchup is that Inteleon Box. Again, they're just, it's really annoying to deal with those single prize Pokemon. They're going to be taking out your Genesex pretty easily, especially if they are running something like Charizard. They're one-shotting your Genesex, and that's not only really bad because you're losing two prizes to a single prize, but you're also losing your draw engine. So without those Genesex, you're really not going to be able to do too much. Your best matchup is Zoroark. Pretty easy to take, knock out the Zoroarks with Power Tab or Choice Belt, especially when they're damaging themselves. You're hitting 270 instead of 280, and then they damage themselves to go down to 250. Not bad. Not bad. You only have to have a Choice Belt and a Power Tab, and that's pretty simple to do for Mew. Palkia and Teleon, your worst matchup is Arceus Flying Pikachu. They hit you for weakness. The fact that they hit you for weakness and you still have a 46 win percent is amazing. You're nearly neutral, so that's absolutely wild to me. And your best matchup is the uh, Zoroark. Again, you're hitting for just really easy numbers. They need to have a super wide bench. You have a super wide bench, so you're hitting for 260. They're going to have 250 health because 270 plus the damage that they put on it. They have, maybe, they, maybe they go down to 260, but that's exactly what you need in order to take a one shot without even needing a choice belt. So um, it's really favorable for you. They can go down uh, on bench size because they don't need to hit the 300 mark, but you, you know, Aqua Horn exists, Quick Shooting exists, Choice Belt exists. Those are all things that you can use to just one shot there their uh zora arcs and you need less it's a little easier for palkia to set up than it is for zora Arc because zora Arc relies on just kind of discarding the hand and drawing up a bebo or, or, or research whereas the palkia deck has intellion to and uh to just tutor plus you do have raw draw in the forms of like melanie and uh radiant Corninja that you can use every turn so really really favorable for palkia in that matchup and it shows 66 64 percent near that magic 66 percent uh, and then the last deck we'll talk about is reggie's your worst matchup is against hisui and gudra how are you dealing with the fact that they can heal 30 damage and then take 80 less each turn so they're healing for 110 every turn uh and then do you just they just constantly one shot all your pokemon it's pretty annoying so Reggie's, I can definitely see that being your worst matchup. And your best matchup at 67% is that Zoroark. You have the Reggie Rock to one-shot those Zoroarks if they don't have a Dunsparce. Even if they do, boss KO it, you, you know, or you're just two-shotting it constantly. That's going to do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I found it informative. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. I mean, you know what decks... I mean, you don't have to tell me what deck you're going to play for a tournament because you might want to keep that secret, but... I want to know if you're going to tournaments or what decks you have tried, which ones you're liking, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I will see you next time.